what's up guys how you doing um i am doing my next craft project and i thought i would share my walmart haul with you guys today i've been very creative lately um doing different projects and stuff just to stimulate oh, to keep my sacral chakra flowing you know and so i'm going to do a mood board um, a mood board using color therapy um, it is designed that when you look at it it's supposed to evoke certain emotions within you it's also the colors on them they correspond to different um, chakras within you but also different emotions so it helps you to heal psychologically and physically so if you look at something that's red it would help you to like um, clear and help to balance your root chakra orange for sh sacral chakra or whatever uh, emotion you're trying to get out of if you're a little depressed you may want to look at something with brighter colors like yellow and orange because those make you feel happy just like citrus fruit you know everything is connected if you're a little bit antsy or uh, anxious you may want to look at some calming purples or some deep blues or something like that and so I'm I'm doing a piece this is just like off, I, I haven't seen I, it's a mood board people do mood boards but what I'm looking for is like a mood board collage kind of a thing and it's meant to be uh, placed on the wall as an art piece and so I'm starting with this foam board I don't know how the dimension of it oh got it it says 20 by 30 by 3 and a 16th inch so if anyone is wondering how big it is so I'm starting this is going to be the base of my project I'm also I got some beautiful fabrics uh, I started with a color scheme it's in here this is all the stuff that I got in my jeans <laughs> okay so I started with this color scheme so you guys could see uh, the first board that I'm doing is going to be Moroccan inspired because I love Morocco. I've never been there, but the pictures that I see always make me feel at home for some reason. They always make me, uh, I always really like the pictures that I see of Morocco. And so I wanted to bring those elements into my house. So Moroccan interior design. And the colors that I'm going with are this beautiful deep blue at the top. And then we have a nice dark teal right here. And then we have this pretty dark purple. And then the other color is gold, but there's no gold swatches or gold, what do you think, like, yeah, swatches. Gold swatches, so we have this close to gold, but that's gonna bring like the brightness, the little bit of a pop of color. But this is the color scheme that I'm going with. And so the stuff that I got complements that color scheme, such as this beautiful, beautiful fabric. Isn't that nice? And it looks very Moroccan. I love the print on here. And I also got this other dark, beautiful fabric. So the thing is, I wanted to work with various um, textiles and materials, you know? That's why I wanted to do this board, because I can use anything. I can use plastic, and I can use tile, I can use fabric, I can use glitter, I can use paint. I can just let my imagination run wild, and so that's basically why I started this project. So we also got this pretty, ooh, nice fabric here. I have some paper that I already had, some colorful paper, like this, and I'm going to be adding those to it. It's very nice, rich colors. I won't be using all of this, but some I'll be using. And what else did I get? Let's see. I got some styrofoam balls. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to either cut these in half and paint them and put them all over for a pop of color, possibly, or leave them whole. I'm not sure yet, but I said I need some styrofoam. I got this confetti garland. All this stuff here is from Walmart. My two craft spots are Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby. I could stay there forever. If you live in Connecticut and you want to go to Hobby Lobby on a Hobby Lobby trip, just let me know. Hit me up. Email me. We'll set it up. And this is confetti garland, but I'm going to cut it off the string and just use these beautiful gold. Because this is the color. It's not this yellow. That was the closest swatch. It's this color with the rest of the colors that I'm using. So it would be look more like, let me show you. So more like that, these colors together. See? So I'm gonna cut that off the string and I'm gonna use these as the circles. I may even cut semicircles or other shapes out of them and then adhere them to the board. I got some feathers because they have that deep purple in there and they also have a deep blue. It's a little hard. 
You see right there, that deep blue there, so I can use those. Found this beautiful little glitter canvas. So this will add a little bit of a 3D kind of a effect. It'll pop up, you know, multi-levels. I want, I want your eye to be visually, I want you to be visually stimulated, but not like too much stuff where you're overwhelmed, but I want like different shapes and different textures and different lines and all different kind of design techniques in order to really make this come together. So this is a beautiful glitter canvas. I found these pretty little, are they beads? They're just as accessories. Beads, uh, in the back they're flat. But here they have, look, and they matches my color, my teal. So I did, when I started, I started by conceptualizing what theme I wanted to use, and then I went on to Pinterest to get some uh, inspiration, to uh, get some direction, and then I did a rough sketch of how I wanted to break the board down. It's gonna be horizontal, and I plan on doing like some tiles over here. I wanna put like a Moroccan tea bag here with some Moroccan spices, like raw spices on the board, so like cinnamon sticks. So maybe saffron, some nutmeg, uh, possibly turmeric to add to that color. I want to do some fabric over here, some paint drips over here. Uh, Morocco is famous for their horseshoe arches that they have. And I want to do one like in the middle and kind of like bring it out. This is just a basic design that I'm going with, but I have a concept in my head. Got some Gorilla Glue, even though I have a hot glue gun and I got some more glue sticks for my hot glue gun. I got these very pretty beads to tie the purple in. And it also has gold in there too, so I got both. So it's good that it has both in there. These are like $1.98. The rest of these little bags are 98 cents each, which I mean, I feel like they should fill the whole bag up, but whatever. Uh, for beads, um, these beautiful turquoise ones, and I don't know if you can see, they have a nice little texture to them cute little design. These pretty purple ones, which are very unique. I got these other turquoise ones. I really like these, the shape of them. And they also have a couple gold beads in there too. Some copper ones too, but they have gold. Those are nice. These have that dark blue, blue and black, see? And so I really love the blue, and I'm going to maybe cascade them out a little bit, make it seem like they're falling. I haven't completely de decided yet. And then these wooden ones to kind of tie it together. I love the shape of them. I could definitely make a pattern using these, and so I thought they were nice. Because I want these to be the basic colors, but I also, you know, this, not everything is going to match the scheme uh, exactly, exactly. I got this chain to go on there because I want to hang a chain on there. Isn't that pretty? This was like three forty. Oh, now it's stuck to the rope. Three forty-seven, I believe. And then I got the paint to match, and I was over there with my swatches like opening up each of the bottles and like squeezing it to the top to see the color and matching it up to my swatch to see if it was right. And so these colors definitely match my swatches like perfectly because I made sure <laughs> that they matched perfectly. And so this one is a Tuscan teal. This was 50 cents, I believe. They were, they were 50 cents or a dollar 47. They were like all over the place. So I'm not sure how much they were. Let me see. I believe most of these. This is not even the right receipt. This is the, this is not, these are two of my grocery receipts. I believe they were, is this it? Beads, tape, glue. Fifty cents, fifty cents at Walmart. Real Navy. This one I really like. This is gold. I was like, is this really gold? And it is really gold. Let me show you. Look at that. Ooh, let me not make a mess. I'm gonna squeeze it and it goes everywhere. But you see, that's like really gold. So I can do embellishments or paint on top of things. That's awesome. And then I got this wild grapes was the purple one. And then I have 
some I don't even know what bias tape is. I hope this is just regular ass like fabric ribbon kind of thing. And I got them in the four colors. I may roll them up and make like little rosettes and then um stick them on that way or layer them in lines or even a checkered pattern, something like this. I'll find something creative to do with it. And so this is a good start. I definitely want to add more stuff. Um in projects like this, I want to add like bottle caps and old keys and uh, tiles, pieces of tiles, broken or together. I just want to, this helps me because like when I'm out and about, if I see something I find beautiful, I can incorporate it into my mood boards. And so this is where I'm going to start with my arts and crafts. I've been doing lots of arts. I did this one a week ago. This is my Buddha. I'm very proud of myself. I would burn and started off plain, just like this. And I used the wood burner to go around and do the entire pattern on the edge. And then I drew, um, I got a piece of, I got the picture and I taped it on here and I like traced it really hard so that it would go into the wood. And then I went back with the wood burner and then I colored it in. And this piece has been bringing me a lot of zen just looking at it. So, and I got a lot of positive feedback on that. So anything that you wanna do to unleash your creativity, and keep that sacral chakra going. Definitely do it. If you have any questions about crafts or like where to get any of these things or if you're interested and you're uh, in a specific craft and you want to know where you can get it from, just hit me up. So this is my haul from Walmart. This is the beginning and I'll come back and I'll make a video to show you how it turned out at the end, right? Peace. Love you guys. Have a great day. Stay warm. Later.